Hey friends, have you ever wondered what keeps us floating off into space? Why am I going down after every jump? Well, this is called gravity, an invisible force that pulls you back to the earth. Sir Isaac Newton, a well-known scientist, discovered gravity about 300 years ago. The story is that Newton saw an apple fall from a tree towards the ground. At first he thought, why didn't the apple go up? Then he realized that there was a force that made it fall on the ground and he called it gravity. Hmm, you'll be surprised to know that every object that has mass exerts a gravitational pull or force on every other body of mass. The size of the pull depends on the mass of the objects. This is how the sun's gravitational pull keeps planets orbiting around it. Even the earth has a gravitational force on the moon. That is why the moon rotates around the earth and does not float away. That's amazing, isn't it? An invisible force has so much to do with the way we live. Oops, I forgot to tell you. The tides in the sea and oceans happen because of the gravitational pull of the moon. One, two, three. By the way, have you ever thought why a stone falls on the ground faster than a piece of paper? That's because the bigger the object's mass, the more gravity it will have. And the smaller the mass of the object, the less will be the gravity. Trivia time! The moon's gravitational pull is one-sixth of Earth's gravitational pull. A person weighing 150 pounds on Earth would weigh no more than 25 pounds on the moon. Imagine how far you could jump on these two places. So next time, when you see high tides and objects falling on the ground, you will know why that happens. So, this is me zooming out. Tune in next time for more fun facts.